great. Push cars. <laughs> yeah, well, this is great, but these are the three push cars. But now we're all on the same look, site. We're all I happy. Know. Now it's happy, so I don't know what was going on. I gotta fix these targets. Well. Hmm. So it came back when you restarted. Uh, well, now if you crashed when I tried to reset it, and then oh. now it's happy. So <laughs> something was uh, going on that we were not aware okay. of. Okay. I think it's okay. We'll see what happens. Okay, so now I feel a little better. It wasn't entirely user error. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like either a crinoid or another. Need to learn all the, the whistles and bells of Navg. Nav yeah. yeah. It has some cool stuff like range and bearing the targets and stuff. It's very handy for me. So why don't we use that for nav? Well, I think that's what we should do. But down the road, once we get it figured out. In the uh, in the Jason setup, can't they actually move the ship? Yeah. From NavG. <coughs> Wait, you can move yeah. the ship through. Yeah, it. from Nav NavG. Wow. Yeah. So they don't no they more, don't call no the bridge. They the just bridge. do it. Yeah. <laughs> Fascinating. Yeah, they just put a cursor out where they want to go, and the ship goes over there. What? So they spoof the GPS. The ship's GPS signal. They they put a offset in it, so it thinks it's on the. Wow. It's off the position, yeah, yeah. and it mo moves over to it. Yeah. That's cool. Look at this. They've been together the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Okay, the one variable that we cannot fix is the weather, and keep an eye on it, but we've definitely been, it's been a steady trend of gusts over Tossed uh, about 22, yeah. Okay, so once we get across this um, sandy plane. plane here, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> um, we've got about 50 meters left on the sandy plane and then we'll start a slope up. Um, it'll start kind of as a gentle slope and then get steep as we get to waypoint three. Sweet. Sounds good. Yeah, <clears throat> that's where it might get hairy though. If the Correct. We're struggling. Yeah, so we'll uh, take it slow. Actually, we've been doing 0 0.2 knots uh, up to 0 0.3. We have a viewer that's actually curious about how old the sand is. Mm. How old the what is? The sand. Jeez, that's kind of tough to answer, but right? we can say that the stuff on top is younger than the stuff underneath. Mm -hmm. uh, and probably the very topmost stuff is not all that old. It's falling down from, you know, the upper water column. Uh, we could look at, at what the sedimentation rate is out here, but since we're in a little bit of a, a little kind of depression where, where sediment will tend to collect, then I think we would, the average sediment sedimentation rate here would probably be too low for whatever whatever it is right here. So, okay. um, we got a fish way on the edge over there. Do you see where? Oh sort of yeah. checking us out. Oh, yeah. Can see From on the Atlanta view. Yeah. Something coming up to the right, maybe a rock.
see a little evidence of bioturbation every once in a while. There's like little piles of yeah. sand, mm -hmm. but there's no like feeding tracks or anything like that. Yeah. Good with another move? Yeah. Bridge nav. Let's do another five zero in, meters, two nine zero. There's a little something, a little oh. C pen or something. Oh, sort. nice. Yeah. That looks like. Actually, it looks kind of like might a. Might be a. Yeah, I think it's. It's definitely an antipatharian. Maybe. It's not on Bellopathies. It's a. Uh, closely related. You sure? It kind of looks like the antipathies. It's it's definitely um, a black coral. It's antipathid, antipathidae. Yeah. But on Bellopathies, I believe, has a few more of these, like, like leaf looking uh, okay. things like there will be like like three so i'm just trying to get it down to um to genus we have family antipalidae you good yep yep good thank you And this is for our video engineer, Dave Robertson. Um, what element of your work do you find most fascinating? Zooming in on stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, it's really interesting. You get to, uh, you get to, uh, you know, it's a, it's a skill and a test, and a, and I'm, you know, I'm doing three things at once. Uh, I'm zooming, I'm focusing, and I'm controlling the iris exposure of the camera. Uh, all three. Uh, at the same time with only two hands. Uh, so it's uh, it's a challenge uh, and uh, you get to see really interesting stuff like zooming in on a coral like that uh, where you get to, uh, if, you, if you do it right, you can get it in focus. Just a, Especially a, when the pilot doesn't hold right. still. Uh, <laughs> adapting, adapting to the pilot is uh, it's just one of the, uh, the things to do. But uh, when you can get in no nice and close and get a uh, a nice in-focus shot of the uh, uh, polyps on the coral or close-up of a rock or something like that. I put that in for Adam. Uh, <laughs> I liked it. I heard it. Let's that's, go. That's, uh, <laughs> and that's, that's, the, that's the fun part. What's the most interesting thing you've seen that you've zoomed into? Uh, I'm always going to say uh, Dumbo octopus. Mm. Mm -hmm. I, I, I really like Dumbo octopus. Uh, I've seen uh, well, four of them in my uh, career so far. Sorry to interrupt, Paula. I believe that was a bathypathies. A bathypathies? Yeah. Okay. Dumbo octopus. I Dumbo. 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 Oh, those are so cute. Yeah. So adorable. They have fins on the top of their head that look like oh, wings, so and they flap them up and down. <laughs> and you said you've seen four? Uh, yeah, I've seen three on Nautilus and one on Thompson. Oh, wow. Uh, I take it back. I saw one on another ship uh, with another ROV, so I've seen five, maybe half a dozen. Saw two last season. Wow. Here on, uh, on Nautilus. What's the weirdest thing you've seen? Uh, sea spiders are just creepy. <laughs> they're so weird. <laughs> really? Sea yeah. spider? Yeah. Yeah, they're just, they're creepy. They're, they're wild. Especially yeah. when they're, they're in the water, right? Yeah. And their legs are just kind of slowly moving. <laughs> yeah. Just. Kind of blows me. my mind that they're out there. Yeah. Just. I've seen an undersea lake that had waves rolling up on the beach. What? 
and islands. Wow. <laughs> is that in the Gulf Floating Mexico? islands, yeah. No but way. islands Brian with tar. Brine. Oh. Yeah. Can you zoom on Brine that, lakes um, with the dark thing in the front? Sea pen? No. Like maybe sea pen, fish. maybe fish. Yeah. Tripod? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, telestrator's out. Can you Look zoom at, in yeah, there, Dave? It's a fish. Is that one of them tripod fish? Yeah. Dave called it. Buddy just chilling. Yeah, tripod fish. Bentosaurus? Oh. Bent Is that it? Bathysaurus? Wow. Bathysaurus. Bathysaurus. Hey. That is <laughs> really pretty. That is neat. Is there something on it? It looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Where? Oh, no, that's oh, no, its, I think that's part no, of that's that's part its whiskers. Of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not, not the correct term, I'm sure. That's really cool. That's yeah. the coolest thing I've seen tonight. <laughs> How about those colors, man? Yeah. Wow. Shout that's out purple. to everybody tuning in. Thank you for your questions. This one is for Robert. Um, how long did it take you to adjust to controlling the arm through second imagery? Did it take a long time to learn to work without depth perception? Ooh. Um, I think most people can sort of pick up on it fairly quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, some views can be really challenging because uh, of the angle of the camera. Right. So we try and set it up. So, for instance, the tube cores on the side, we have two different angles looking at them. So you can you can kind of put it together in your head where you need to go. But uh, speaking of going, are I we think going? we're good on this fish. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to feel bad about the light we're shining on it. <laughs> well, see, he doesn't he doesn't care though, right? He like has no effect. Yeah. One of the things people true. might not know about the manipulators is mm -hmm. is there's the, uh, it's almost like a marionette version. There's like a smaller version that, that Robert's controlling and oh. moving around <laughs> like the arm moves around. I think that's so cool. Is that's that called really the master? Cool. We don't call it that anymore. Okay. Yeah. Primary. <laughs> Primary and now? secondary. That's, that's the but yeah, it's interesting to see different pilots use it in different ways too. Right. Some it's yeah, like everyone a, holds it differently. It's like a what do they call it, a panograph, right? You have like a small model of the right, and then you can move a bigger thing. Yeah. yeah, and some pilots use it kind of the same way that their arm joints would, and some like hold it in a totally different like upside down way. An oddball, weird <laughs> yeah. way. <laughs> I don't do that. But how many joints does it have? <laughs> how many how many joints does it have? Seven. On the, seven. So. Wow. Wow. Well, I am curious though. You know, uh, Robert and Thomas as uh, being pilots. Um, what training did you guys have to go through? Because we do have um our college students tuning in. Our certifications you guys had to. Uh, uh not with Herc. Mm, okay. Uh, Just debris. The people that get hired to be oh. pilots. Oh, there's something. Can we zoom on that? Yep. Oh, I like that effect. So the pilots are technically adept. They're either mechanical <laughs> or electrical, because mm -hmm. you don't just pilot the vehicles. You got to fix them too. I thought you were saying they were technically adept, but some of them. Uh, <laughs> yeah, basically. Technically. technically. <laughs> not, not completely. Yeah. <laughs> and these days, Can you zoom in on that, Dave? People we're with engineering that. degrees. Yeah. Ooh. What do we have what there? What is that? It is a holothurian. Oh, oh, wow. Ooh. Yeah. So pretty. Hello. Letting it go. Galloping. It's got a full belly Fantastic. in there. Fantastic. Yeah. I love these guys. That's beautiful. That's a great, great shot. Uh, yeah. Holothurian? 
Holothurian, a uh, sea cucumber. But it looks like it's got a mane and everything. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> Stay away from the thrusters. <laughs> Swim so gracefully. All right. Okay. Moving on. Moving. Oh, we got us some dirt on that. Oh. I noticed that it falls off this new porch really well, though. Nice. Good feature. Yeah. Are we go. We're going up a slope again, are we? Soon. Yeah, we're we're about to. Yeah. Okay, where the ship move? Yep. Bridge nav. Five zero meters, two nine zero, please. Yeah, we're just coming to the end of uh, this field here. We'll start start a slow ascent for about two hundred meters, and then it'll start to. Uh, Get a little steeper. I will say that people are interested in, in getting into the ROV. Uh, there's a big shortage of uh, people with electronic skills. Mm. There's, there's, yeah. In so what advice would you give them? Uh, to pursue electronics. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's just, I think people that tend to get into electronics are not, it's hard to find someone who's into electronics and is willing to go to sea and, and be out, you know. Right. Yeah, electronics and water typically don't mix. Yeah. <laughs> Offshore companies, they take on students as interns and oh. uh, train them up. How long does the, um, the internship last, though? That I can't answer. Uh, oh, okay. it, uh, it goes from company to company. Mm -hmm. uh, they take on as a, as a junior and, uh, and work with them from there. Right. A lot of it's in-house training. Of course, not all offers an ROV uh, engineering internship. Those internships can be anywhere from two to five or even more weeks, depending on length of expeditions. But it's one of our five internship tracks, ROV engineering, seafloor mapping, ocean science, video engineering, and... Can we get a zoom on this creature? Which creature? Navigation. Never mind. The one that <laughs> went by floating. us. Oh, Never mind. The floating, <laughs> the the floating creature. creature. <laughs> yeah, it's a floaty thing. Oh, this could be an interesting question. So it's like, um, this viewer said, uh, there are animals and plants that are named after celebrities and their Latin names. Um, which celebrities would you name a species you discovered? Ooh, that's a fun question. Never thought of that. Um, um, people, people often name things after, I don't know, people get pretty creative with oh. the names. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen a lot of really interesting ones working at the Museum of Comparative Zoology, certainly. <laughs> Um, what is it? Like, there's a squid, it's like Vampirotuthis oh or something. Gosh. But there's oh, no... Vampirotuthis infernalis. 
no. Uh, Ooh, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we need a Momoa Zoan. Yeah, so the, the vampire Otuthis is like called the, the vampire squid. And it looks kind of like a vampire. Of it is no cool. Good. It's yeah. like black <laughs> on the outside, and then it opens up, and it's got a red. It's got a cape. <laughs> <laughs> and it flips inside out into its pineapple form, where it has all of its little tentacles on the outside. Does but it, it have, like, little claws on the end? Yeah, of it? but yeah. it looks so fierce, right? But yeah. it's actually a det detritivore, so it will roll out these little tiny huh. fishing filaments, little sticky filaments from its body, and leave wow, them trailing in the water split. column to trap what? floating food. Whoa. Dead things. So it looks like it's a, it looks like it's a predator, but it's actually a detritivore. It eats detritus. Oh, well, that's like the same with the uh, mm -hmm. like those angler fish where you see the pictures and they got the giant teeth and everything, and they turn out to be like an yeah. inch long. <laughs> 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 yeah. But they are predators. Yeah. Still, yeah. <laughs> Just tiny, tiny predators. And Terrifying if you're a krill. And they're kind of up higher in the water column than, than we're at, right? Yeah, I think that's right. Like, twilight zone. Yeah. They're not even, like, do -do deep, do -do deep do -do sea do -do -do. fish. Yeah. Is this a sea pen then over here? Up to the Looks right? Looks like it. Oh, look at that. Oops. Can we zoom in, Dave? Might be a penatula. Hmm. Or Got a little friend on top, looks like. Ooh. Hello. Yeah, I think this is Prodoptilum. And what are these? Are these? Little anemones. Anemones? Yeah. Is it? Are they not zoanthids? Oh, zoanthids. They could be. Are yeah, they? They kind of look like zoanthids. Could be zoanthids. Interesting. Nice. Okay. We're good there. Thank you. Yos, can you repeat the idea real quick? Prodoptilum. Prodoptilum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you need the spelling? I would appreciate that, yes. Okay. Is it a type of sea pen? Yep. Awesome. Looks like a little worm. Thanks. Thanks, Jules. Mm -hmm. So with all this data that we're collecting, where does it go after? Ooh, great question. So all the data we're collecting, it will become publicly available. Mm -hmm. And it ends up in different uh, places. So oh. Zoom oh. on the fish, please. What is Whoa. that? Whoa. Kind of scale. The uh, mapping data and the navigation well, zoom in, data Dave. ends up in the National Center for Environmental Information, NCEI. The video data will end up there eventually, but can be accessed through YouTube. Right. Um, samples, rock samples will yeah. go to a repository Cuskeel. at URI, mm -hmm. and biological samples will go to a repository at Harvard. Um, let's see, what other kind of data? Those are the main things. There, sometimes we'll have, like, the laser spectrometer that's out here. That data is more like engineering data than actual scientific data, so that probably won't go to an archive just yet. Wow, look at that. Wow, it's gorgeous. This must be so smart. Big brain. <laughs> brains are hanging out. <laughs> so what is brain. this? <laughs> Oh, this is a cusk eel. Yeah. Not in a hurry. 
Yeah, so some of these specimens, the biological ones, will go back to Harvard, to the Museum of Comparative Zoology, um, where hopefully I'll be able to process some of them. Someone will process them. Hopefully I'll get to do some of them. Am I getting the spelling right? Oh, there you go. S-K? F? S? Oh, S-K. Okay. Eel. There you go. Thank you. Oh, there it is again. I forgot my wallet. It's very telegenic. Oh, wow. Zoom in, Dave. Got a really big head. Yeah. <laughs> not a not a strong swimmer. He's coming aboard. Oh, oh. oh. hello. Oh. oh, oh no. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> now there's a roof above me. He got Brad turned around. around. <laughs> You know, people have asked what's the coolest, weirdest, whatever thing we've all seen, but we haven't talked about uh, methane Rocks. hydrate <laughs> yet, <laughs> uh -huh. which is so cool it because is. it's bubbling out of the seafloor, and if you trap it, <laughs> it it freezes, and then if you go up in the water column, it turns to gas again. It's like a kind of a magical substance in the ocean, really. Wow. And it looks like ice on the seafloor, which yeah. is really cool. It's like little snowbanks. That's, That's so interesting. One of the coolest things I've seen also has been rock-related. Uh, the columnar basalt mm -hmm. formations where Maybe I should just throw this over to you immediately, but I'll, I'll do the, the yeah, layperson's version <laughs> where it, it just looks like you, there are formations like this on land as well. Um, but you can see um, the basalt has formed into columns side by side and they're kind of, they tend to be like hexagonal or um, faceted and it's just, it's just stunning. And sometimes I just remember being in, um, I think it was Baker Island and coming across an entire cliff face um, that was covered in a uh, cliff face of columnar basalt that was covered in stocked crinoids, and so it, wow, yeah, just just a beautiful scene. But Adam, how does it form? That's it. You you nailed it. <laughs> it's uh, when the lava comes out, it's hot, and then it cools off, and when it cools off, it contracts a little bit, and the most kind of energy efficient way to to crack is in this kind of polygonal network of cracks, and they once they form, they just start propagating downwards because water gets in into the cracks and you end up with these really cool columns. Polygonal. Bridge, no? Wow. <laughs> yeah, that was a new word. Yeah. Polygonal. Check, Should check Mary put that in for the <laughs> five zero meters, two nine zero, please. So you can see that at the Devil's Post Pile and yeah. Mammoth? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, Columbia River. Creature, can we zoom on the creature? Floater. Ooh, floater. Floating. Thing. Isn't there a place in yeah. Ireland that yeah. they call them their basalt? There yeah, you go. that's the... Uh, oh, oh, oh. Another cuscue. Giant's Causeway, isn't it? Giant's Causeway, yeah. yeah that's right. This is a different one. You think? Yeah, the head isn't as... <laughs> bulbous? Enormous. No. <laughs> yeah. You're right about that. Zoom in, Dave. Kind of look like tadpoles. Right. What is that? I do think it is also a cusk eel. What's the eel that goes out 
to breed in the Sargasso Sea, but we'd never have seen it, and then it comes back. Would that be the congers? Yeah. Conger eels, yeah. Yeah, this is likely a cusk eel, I would guess. Cusk eel, it's a, it's a family, Ophididae, so not all of them are going to look exactly like, but um, I am no fish expert, so if anyone has a better idea, please put it in the chat, shout it out. Mm -hmm. We have you still one. Gotta move on. Oh, uh, basil. Yeah, I just started a new one. Huh? Am I pronouncing that correctly? Ooh. Okay. Let basil zetas. Basil zetas. Look into that. This is really sandy looking. Yep. That is a genus of cusk eels. Mm. Yeah, that awesome. looks about right to me. I trust that. Thank you. Did you catch that, Paula? Can you repeat that real quick? Uh, yeah, it's B-A-S-S-O-Z-E-T-U-S. -S that is the genus. Thanks, Jules. Yeah, thank you. And thank you to who mm -hmm. sent that in. Thank you to our friends online. Mm. Gotta wait. Doesn't that look like it'd be nice to sink your feet into? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Wow. It's so pristine looking. Okay. I'm quiet. <laughs> yeah, it's very <laughs> like. How are the beaches in American Samoa? Are they good? Really good. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of coral. Uh -huh. it's, it's very colorful. We get a, we we have a lot of sandy beaches, so it's really beautiful. How are the beaches in Ireland? Cold. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, surprising. You know, look, um, we have some uh, oh, Gulf be Stream beautiful gets over coastline there. Yeah. Uh, and some fantastic beaches. Uh, blue flag. I, I don't know if you have the same over here. Um, we get the, the our beaches are awarded a, a five star rating if they get a blue flag. Uh, it's based on water quality and mm -hmm. uh, various other standards. But uh, yeah, we have a uh, beautiful coastline and beautiful beaches. And uh, yeah, the water's uh, water can be tested if you uh, if, uh, if you like warm <laughs> warm tepid waters. But, you know, it's <laughs> we get a, a lot of people that uh, that enjoy their early morning swim enjoy You'll that challenge. I started writing it, but <laughs> just the very end. Puerto Rico, best beaches in. In the world? In the world, yes. <laughs> of course they are. You just haven't been to Ireland, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> also, I was talking with Chris and he told me the reefs over at Palmyra, they're very beautiful. So that might be... I mean, the beaches at American, in America and Samoa are also incredible. Oh, you've been? Yeah, I've been too. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> We were, uh, Nautilus was in American Samoa in 2018. Ah. Oh. Oh, maybe 2019? That's it's very interesting, the flight from Samoa to American Samoa. Oh, yeah. A half hour, and it's a, what, a day later? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, really? we're, we're yeah. just as shocked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thirty-minute flight, and it's, you're a day ahead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
We were also um, starting an expedition to find the Samoan Clipper, which was a Pan Am flight that went down in the 1930s. Oh, right, right. Oh. And we were taking our flight into Pongo Pongo was the same route that the Samoan Clipper had taken. And uh, <laughs> the lead scientist who was leading the expedition was on board the flight. And he's as we're flying over, he's like, this is the same route the Samoan Clipper took. And we're all like, what? <laughs> Can save that information. Okay. <laughs> no thanks. Let's, let's hold that story. <laughs> oh, New Zealand would like to enter into the favorite beaches discussion. Is that oh, oh, New Zealand's definitely oh. up there. Oh. Some good beaches there. Is that Moya from New Zealand? Yeah. Yay, Moya. <laughs> Moya's one of our very long time Nautilus viewers, so it's great to have her back watching. Oh, wow. She, uh, has crocheted a lot of interesting deep sea animals. Really? That's what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gotta add Minesweeper Radiolarian to her. Yeah. Oh, sweeper. is it a Radiolarian or is it a Protus? Oh. I think it's a Protus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm an expert on tiny things. I will not defend Massachusetts beaches here. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Cape How are they? Well, I've never as much as so I love the Cape, it's a. Uh, How are the beaches up there? They're. They're. How cool. would you describe the beaches? We get. We get. They're neat. We get horseshoe crabs coming up there, which are That's amazing. Cool. I'm actually afraid of them. Oh, you are. <laughs> yeah. They're. They're gentle. I know. It's not a rational fear. I, it's actually, it's more a fear of stepping on them. Oh, mm. That's mm. fair. And for some reason, it just kind of like grosses me out. Mm -hmm. And it's also like a fear for them. Like, I don't want to hurt them. Okay, well, you got a lot going on there. <laughs> stepping, fear for them. It's a very complex we're gonna do issue. Some, we're going to do some exposure therapy for you. <laughs> oh, God. Bridge, Nev. Everyone on board is going to dress do you up as a <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Five zero meters two nine zero, please. Uh, I mean, we've had Halloween on Nautilus, and people have gotten very creative with like repurposing trash and other things found on board. But I don't know what we do for horseshoe crabs. I uh, need some like <laughs> garbage can lids or something. Yeah, yeah. we could do something with cardboard. <laughs> we can. We can do it. <laughs> we can. Yeah, I guess we could. Not as spiky with cardboard, but yeah. <laughs> I grew up in Washington State, and I got to tell you, our beaches are not good. They're <laughs> what? What? They're well, at least they're in Puget beautiful. Sound. <laughs> in Puget Sound, they're gorgeous, but they're like rocks covered with barnacles. You know, oh, you cannot walk <laughs> well, on that's them. True. <laughs> well, that's on the south, though. Yeah, that's and the coast, it, it's yeah, big, wide uh, beaches. Those are nice. Yeah. I also grew up in Washington, and we spent a lot of time on the ocean beaches, as That's well as the as well as South Hood's Canal, uh, all of those areas. Uh, and so, but I'm going to put in a plug for the Oregon beaches. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. Oregon beaches. I'm a big fan of the Oregon beaches. I live seven minutes away from the beach. Ooh. Ooh. Seven minute drive. Wow. To the parking wow. lot where I can walk out onto the beach. Sunset the beach out there. Nice. I can hear the surf from my uh, from my porch. Great place to be. Gorgeous. We have our viewers tuning in. Duxbury Beach. Deluxeberry. Yeah, you know, yeah. I was a little, I was a little hard on Massachusetts beaches. <laughs> Duxbury Beach is my favorite beach, mm. probably. That's the beach that I worked on. Nice. And there's the Napali coast of Kauai. Oh, oh yes. yeah. And then we have a, we have one, the beach in Belgium has got to be the most boring sight on earth. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ouch. Okay. Entered into the worst beaches yeah. competition. <laughs> uh, I'll throw in Big Sur Coastline in California, which is yeah. where I spent, I've spent a lot of time. Well, grew up in the area, Monterey. Isn't but that rocky? It's rocky, but you gotta, there's a couple of little, um, there's this one stretch called Pacific Valley. And it's far, far south of Big Sur, about half an hour, 45 minutes. Um, so a lot of people don't don't get down there. But uh, when the tide's out, there's um, it's kind of in between some mountains, little valley. And when the tide goes out, a lot of these little coves um, with steep steep cliff down to the beach, but a lot of little coves actually 
end up having little sandy beaches. Oh, wow. So during low tide, you can go down and sit on the beach. And there's little, um, some of the beaches are full of little tiny shells, like miniature versions of everything you'd find in the area. Oh. Um, so yeah, you end up getting some really beautiful little beaches, but just for a few hours every day. I would wrap uh, Hawaii beaches, especially Big Island, where you get black mm. sand beaches and right. green mm -hmm. sand beaches. Those are pretty cool. Oh, green sand beaches are beautiful. Yeah. The olivine. I think beaches with a with a, a bit of mixture between rock pools, rocky, and uh, and the sand it gives a variety. Something for everyone. Yeah, yeah, something for especially with family, kids, mm -hmm. the, a bit of rock pool hunting. Yeah, tide pooling. Yeah. Rock pool hunting is that the <laughs> <laughs> same thing? There's a fish. Uh, tide pool. I think it's another one of the. Oh, there's a yeah. Tripod. Right, tripod. tripod. Oh, nice. Ooh. Tripod fish. Oh, hello. I like going up sand dunes right now. Yeah. Slow. Yeah, we're we're up and down. Yeah. This is not what uh, I was expecting based on this map, but we'll see if we hit. Yeah. We'll start hitting rocky again. Honestly, we we, we took we push cores in the rockiest place within <laughs> the, within this. Whole <laughs> Do you want a sand push core? Is that, is that no, another tripod? No, push? we got three in the bag. I'm not. I'm yeah. Not. Maybe two and a half. Well, two and a half. The rockiest, <laughs> the, the, the rockiest is the place with the most current. Yeah. Yeah, a tripod. Wow. Do you uh. want the spelling? Ooh. For the tripod? Oh. Do you, yeah, do you have the spelling for that one? I have the common name. I'll oh, okay. So it's interesting. But we're we're like really point, loud. So do you want the Latin? And bright. And they don't seem like they're affected at all until you... <laughs> When you touch the bottom, we need to then just they, just right. shoot, they go shooting off. Right, that would be so great. Mm. We'll think of that next time. Guys, passing notes back here. <laughs> <laughs> Secret. Secret. <laughs> Nothing you would know about. <laughs> it's about fish. <laughs> what do you think? Is that a rock or a creature? Creature. Creature? Can we it zoom looks on like the creature? A crab. I think it, yeah. I think it's a crab mm, or an maybe? urchin. No. I think urchin. it's an urchin. Urchin? Is it? Too many legs. I think so. Crab. What? <laughs> I think you might be right. No, what's too an anemone? Anemone? Yeah, too meaty. Anemone, I think. You want to zoom like in? Okay, yeah. It's an anemone. Oh, um. anemone. Anem oh. <laughs> 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 I'm having a lot of trouble with this right now. Anemone. <laughs> I say it quickly. <laughs> Did I get it wrong still? <laughs> I avoid words like that. Anemone? Oh, TJ, you've got a word like that. <laughs> Anemone. Catenary. 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 Anemone. Apples and oranges. Mm. Okay. Anyway. Potato, potato. Whoa. What is it like? What is it? holding on to here. Right. It's all by itself, too. Yep. Sometimes you want to be alone. <laughs> I think it's lonely. Okay, you're moving on. on. Yeah, we're good. Thank you have you. another fish there out in your... Oh, fish. Or side. Look at the fish. Might be the same one. Yeah, it could be. Where's that? Up front? Oh. Yeah, uh, you just flew over. Oh, <laughs> he's gone now. No, no, he's... Yeah, he's gone. Oops. Oh, you're looking at the eye in the sky there? Yeah. Getting the traffic <laughs> report from up, up yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shrimp. Shrimp.
confirmation there are shrimp everywhere. <laughs> all, all the way down. All the way all down. The way down. <laughs> down. It's going to be a quote. <laughs> that needs to be on a bingo card. <laughs> a whole lot of sand. The patterns are interesting. Yeah. Oh, and uh, something's living. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. <laughs> Crinoid? Actually, you want to look at that? Yeah, can we look at that? What is that? That, what, what is that? I don't know. Oh. I think it could just be a feather star. I need to stop saying things like, just a feather star. <laughs> <laughs> just a rock. Just, just a rock. Just That's a just sponge. That there's so many of them. Oh. They're still great, but, oh, is it's another urchin, urchin possibly, to the left-ish. Don't, don't hit the bottom too hard. We got a pilot change. Yeah, no worries. This is a good opportunity here. We just completed a ship move, and I can put another one in if you'd like. Yeah. Bridge now. Five zero meters two nine zero, please. Floating up. Oh. Too fast. Yeah, it's just sensitive, isn't it? Yeah. So usually I leave it, it's in auto head. Okay. So I just drive it from low, just keep the heading the same and just crab back and forth and stuff. But unless you're like trying to line up on something. But More shrimp. Shrimp. Oh, nice. Oh, we're so close. I thought it was a fish. You also think this is the anemone? Oh, that oh. does look pretty similar. That does look a lot oh, like yeah. it. Maybe a, I think the, they had fleshier. Yeah, a little stubbier kind of things. See. This is, I think, the closest fish. Okay. Is that it? Oh. Actin, actinaria. Maybe, could it be? Yeah, that's that what looks I was pretty thinking close, before yeah. I saw so that you picture. You need to crab yeah, over that I, way. I think that's a fair assumption. If not, maybe um, go to the family level, look at others in the same family. Yeah, that, that's the order. Oh, I that's the order. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> then that specific, this is anybody's other. Oh yeah, if that's by the order then, yeah, yeah, go for it. There are a lot of them, like, look very similar. Uh, a lot of them don't have very small uh, ID. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That so what's that? Like what is this that? has a bigger body, right? It's like the same, mm. same order. That looks Ooh. a little closer. We have another one. I think okay. that's a crime. I think it's the same it? guy. <laughs> yeah, that, I don't know what that is. Ah, it's it's hour. Hour. It looks like a, a thing with one Something legs. Something. I don't. I think that's a crinoid. You want to try and center up on that? No. Yeah. Maybe can so. zoom in. Something dark in the center. Maybe a rock. Maybe it's like tethered to that small. You gotta tell rock. him to zoom in when you're ready. Just throwing out wild guesses there? here. It looks like a fish or a jelly or a tune kit. Or oh, a sea cucumber. A star of some sort? <laughs> New legs. Oh, it is. That looks like an ophiroid. 
and that's a holothurian. Nice. You yeah, that's totally it. Um, do I want it? Uh, yeah. You oh. do? Oop, yeah. I'll stop. Rudder. Brezhnev. That's <laughs> 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 yes, I would like it. Oh, hold position. <laughs> we were surprised by that one. Uh, damaged. Uh, yeah, we're probably over. You want me to step back? Oh. Yules, can you confirm the ID? There you go. Yeah, off your right. Okay. I haven't seen one with three arms growing back. That's impressive. The fighter so star. as if it's regenerating All right, like a on panther here. Worm. Uh, panther worm. This is going to be a slurp. Almost like a three-banded panther worm. Yes. Are you are you plugging the panther worm? I'm saying take this home to the lab and figure out how to regenerate me. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> I could use like four more inches. Just regenerate like a, the knee area. To be yeah, that'll be my my project. That's what I'll start looking into. All I want it is to be able to dunk. Okay. <laughs> Do your research to help Adam <laughs> dunk. <laughs> dunk. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think we're gonna. Have to, uh, Apparently, you can get leg extensions. The hose. <laughs> Did you know that? No. Is that for real? Is that for real? Yeah. I was on Instagram today. Is there today stuff in the drawer? And this reel came up, in and it was this guy who was like, "Yeah, I'm six six no, now, and don't judge me for my like leg extensions." <laughs> it's like, oh, whoa. Can we okay. go draw out? When I miss that. I was I was on Instagram today and I came across this video, this guy Carl. being like, Yeah, I got leg extensions and I'm six six now and six, I don't care what you six. think you about it. Trail, I'm yeah. happy. Yeah, coming out. Whoa. Yeah. Something Is there stuff in the tray? tray? No, the nothing in there. Okay. I don't know what they do to the knees. I don't wanna know. Yeah, the long-term effect. But how was how how That's tall good. was he before? Yeah, right. Six, six feet. I just want to try and swing around, and get no. out of the. I take that. That wasn't enough for him. It was not enough. <laughs> he wanted My more. Goodness. Annie and I'd be all over six feet. Yeah, I would like. We'd split I'll it. Like. <laughs> <laughs> like three feet each. <laughs> That's not how that works. Anyone want to go in on like a. a I'll take I'll take one. This is rapidly approaching cannibalism. <laughs> <laughs> I am five five on a good day. Five four depending. <laughs> That's just because we're at sea level, you know. <laughs> get up on a mountain. This is not how science works. <laughs> <laughs> how's the, how's yeah, how tall am I if I were down there? Up. How yeah. tall would I be? I'm still that tether's still pulling out. Okay, I can step uh, forward. I'd be if really you want. small, right? I guess smaller. Uh, well, this is miserable. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> is that not a better position? Better than what? <laughs> I mean the slurp. So. No. I thought it's it got a horrible moved. position. Oh, it's still there. I didn't move it. There's nowhere to put it. Like no matter what you do, it's you can we? You no, know, it's all the way up. Uh. This is the really the worst place to try and grab something right here. I'm um, bring up this again for you here. Oh yeah, that down cam. Yeah, still your your nah, elbow yeah, blocks it. <laughs> Doesn't help. The, the problem is it's in too close to the arm. Like, yeah. It's like yeah, here. Trying to get in your pocket. Yeah. What if you just picked it up and dropped it in the... It's picking it up is the problem. No, it's forget the slurp and just... It's like trying to reach in your arm. They're wondering if you want to pick up the star. Oh. Can we scoop Maybe. it? Or do you want to just... I could pick it up. We could pick it up. We're just going to pick it up. Pick yeah, it up. okay. Just pick it up. Whoa. Or we can get yanked and not pick yeah. it up. <laughs> just had a wave splash over the back deck, too. That was a big one. Uh. Ooh. TJ, uh, can you roll the drawer back in? I don't know where it went. Probably sitting on it. I was I up uh, 12. Left my teacup okay. collection on the Perfect back. Perfect Rolex drawer, tool tray, in. Where'd it go? <laughs> where did it go? 
Oh, there, there we, we go. go. Can you g give me more scope? <clears throat> Coming down. We're getting yanked. Yep, let's uh, step up. I just need two seconds of stillness here. <laughs> Roger. Bridge nav. I don't think that's going to help. It's going to take too long. <clears throat> uh, disregard, bridge. Trail. Hang on. And we got a rock too. <laughs> it's never okay. just the rock. Okay. We got a rock too there. I would like to keep wait, the rock wait, wait. with the crinoid. Oh, you, you would like to keep it? I would kind of like to keep the rock. I don't know if that's an option. Not really, but a piece of it maybe. Oh. Okay. I just I like the idea up. of keeping them together. Oh, together. Uh -oh. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, there we They're go. not together anymore. There's <laughs> actually like not really even a reason for that. Dang it. All right, you can have the rock. Okay. You can have the squishy thing. Okay. <laughs> Science, what's our sample number? Or data, what's our sample number? Yeah, 019. 019, thank you. Close the drawer. Perfect. Nice work. Awesome. Thanks, everyone. TJ, what was the heave on that uh, last one? Uh, around 11 and a half, uh, between 11 and a half and 12 fires, somewhere around there. Okay. All right, max so far has been 13. Okay. That's uh, dead since our watch there. Ready for a minute? No, yeah. Just way you stretch down, right I need okay. to get back under. This would be a <coughs> cool phone <coughs> background for just like that little section. What's your phone background? What is it? I have oh. no idea. Small bird. Oh wow! You have a bedtime reminder. Yep. <laughs> Go to bed. Minus. <laughs> Doing cartwheels. And Acadia. Oh nice. Got my son. My dog. <laughs> Love it. What, what's happening oh. in there? That's me. I was uh, uh, we were too close to see that. Uh, I think that's another. Is that a crinoid? Uh, what is know. that? I think that's another sea star, maybe. Can we. Can you pan around to the right just a hair? Uh, 
vessel's making way again, is she? Is it? Nope, we're at full stop right now. So we need to get sorted here. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, that's all right. Why am I so slow? It's that extra rock. Well, as we get <laughs> older. It's actually no, that crying little floater. floater. It looks like there's a current okay, right. going right in the way everything's floating against you. Yeah. I don't know. It's just coming under me now. Current's picking up. Rocker creature. Uh, 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 uh. I think it was creature like. Oh, there's. This looks uh, like a sea pen, possibly. Yeah. Umbalula. Or just debris. <laughs> Can't tell. No, I think you're right. Umbalula. Yeah. Can we zoom in, Dave? Paolo, we have an Umbalula sea pen. It's beautiful. Yeah, right. They're gorgeous. It is. Okay, metallic gorgeous. <laughs> metallic gorgeous. Yeah, you can see how he's bent over in the current. Yeah. Yeah. She. They. It. Them. Oh wow. <laughs> 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 Oof. That's great. Thank you. Yeah, we're even. Yeah. Okay. Oh, now I'm zipping. Hmm. That's weird. Yeah. What is that? Pepcac error? Uh, what? Pepcac error? Problem exists between chair and keyboard? <laughs> 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 No, no we, we we came over some kind of mount there because uh, our, yeah. del our delta oh. delta dropped off. Really? Uh, our delta went from uh, 15 to 5 really, really quick. Okay, so maybe it was current coming up or coming down that, trying to get over. Yeah, um, the bathymetry does not, or our contours at least, do not show that. Are we still going up? Technically, yeah. We uh, haven't, the steep stuff's mm -hmm. uh, still ahead. Yeah. Okay. This is too scooty. <laughs> I don't even know like how to respond to scooty. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know you how to know, like you the, there. The box doesn't stay put. Like you. Oh. This is the joy box. It's no joy when it does that. Mm -mm. It actually took me quite a while to figure out what was being said when Joy was. Bye, Robert. Like zoom out. on this <laughs> thing. Can we zoom on that uh, star-like creature? I feel like urchin, possibly. Yeah. Can you zoom in, Dave? I love making wild guesses when it's just like <laughs> out of view. That's an urchin. It's an urchin. It's an urchin. We've been Whoa. searching for an urchin. Wow. It's a pretty cool urchin. Oh, nice. It looks, um... Is it alive? Uh, what is yeah, it? Yeah, I think okay. so. He's just sleeping. Can you come down some? Okay. Yep. All right, we got it. That's great, thank you. Urchins are pretty hardcore predators too, yeah? Mm, yeah, they're pretty cool. Anyone who hasn't seen urchins and hats should probably go look it up right now. 
I am going to look that up. Me too. <laughs> Has anyone had the chance to try urchins? As a food? Yeah. No. Delicacy? No? The uh -oh. uni? I yeah, have I haven't tried it. Oh, yeah, I've had, I've okay. had uni. I recommend it. I mean, oh. it could be an acquired taste, but it's a delicacy yeah. back home. We fish for it a lot. Okay. And is it a particular type of urchin that this is, up is to the left yummy? Here. Or? Yes, it's, um, oh, let me look it up. Uni tastes like mud flats. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, usually when I hear sweet. it's an acquired Please taste, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, the black that sea urchin. That's the it's the black sea urchin. It's the okay. one. Can I get a zoom? Yep. Please. Zoom zoom in, Dave. Dave. Maybe nothing at all. Oh, it's just a rock. A rock. Oh, Whoa. it's never oh, just oh, a rock. Oh wait, there's something on it. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, there's geology all <laughs> over it. Yeah, and biology. Oh, is that an no. oh, don't worry. We could scrape that off to get to the rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's get your anemone. dirty rock off anemone. my anemone. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys will get to taste fresh sea urchins. They're the best. Okay. I'm will, I'll try anything. Mm -hmm. So raw, I take it. That's good, thank you. Raw? Raw. <laughs> Can you get it cooked? <laughs> I've never tried it cooked, actually. Okay. I feel like maybe you but would like want to do that. But like fresh from the sea is top tier. Okay. Yeah. We had a conversation similar to that this morning, and I think really? Ren, yeah, and I think Ren described it. It was like a, so you can confirm, Annie, like a oyster flavor, but mm -hmm. with a Gum texture. Mm. <laughs> gum yeah. texture. Yeah. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> I do like oysters. I don't know. But if you feel like oysters, you'll like urchin. I've yeah? never said yeah, they're not like chewy oysters. enough. <laughs> if you guys ever make it out to American Samoa, let's go reef fishing. We're going. Oh. Yeah. We'll be there. I'll take your word for it. Aren't we going there? I want to try this barbecue Next I heard you and oh, Katie yes. talking about earlier, too. Don't worry. I <clears> got you guys. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, Annie, uh, Nautilus will Ooh. likely be in American Samoa next year. Oh, let's go. It's perfect. Yeah, so careful how many promises you yeah. make about showing <laughs> yeah. up. Yeah. Because we're going to descend on We're going to dock and we're going to stop at your house. We go, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's exciting. It is. We're looking forward to going back. Yeah, we did a lot of work with the National Marine Sanctuary mm -hmm. of American Samoa, right. as you know. Um, okay, good for a move? Yep. 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 Roger. Bridge nav. Five zero meter is two nine zero, please. Oh, you got the thing. Found the thing, yeah. So what's everyone's favorite marine animal? Ooh. <laughs> That's a tough question. That's a tough question. Freshwater <laughs> sponge. <laughs> Freshwater <laughs> sponge. <laughs> I like giant isopods. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. I have a picture of me with one. Really? Yeah. I didn't get to keep it. But. Man. The photo or the isopod? The isopod. <laughs> <laughs> isopod. Uh, Eric Cordez, he, yeah, he said I could have it, and then he took it back. All right. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> He's got a jug off the... Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. That I've been looking for. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, he told me I could have the jug and take it away. <laughs> Well, I've got his Bushmaster. Maybe we can arrange a <laughs> trade. <laughs> but in fairness, he did. He sent a giant isopod to my daughter's high school. Wow. Oh. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Let's see. What is my favorite marine I'm still, animal? Yeah, I'm still thinking. <laughs> Mine is the lettuce slug. The lettuce slug? Yeah. There's a lettuce slug. It's closely related to a nudibranch, but... Not Ooh, quite a nudibranch, nudibranch for are. some reason I don't really understand. Oh my <laughs> nudibranchs are really cool. <laughs> nudibranchs are really cool. Cute. It eats algae, or it eats plants and algae, and it actually takes up the chloroplasts into Ooh. its own cells and then photosynthesizes. He's so smart. Mm. It's so smart. So do people have those in their aquariums? Uh, I don't know about that. I don't think they would be very easy to maintain. <laughs> no? I'm going to go with Mola Mola. Okay, oh, yeah. Nice. Those, are, those are funny. Yeah, those are, funny looking those are fish. crazy. We, they come around Cape Cod, too, and, and yeah. their little dorsal fin sticks mm. out. People think it's a shark. <laughs> Have you seen them yeah. breach? No. They will actually, like, jump up and, like, they don't Belly look flop. like they have the energy to jump. <laughs> no, they a, don't. They don't look like lazy looking uh, yeah. fish. But they will they'll fully like Really? Yeah. Oh, there's videos and everything. Yeah. I wanna see. I don't know if this sound will make something here okay. happen. So oh. oh wow. Oh yeah, there you can see a picture of yeah. it coming out. This this one looks fake. Yeah, they yeah, really don't look like they have the energy to they don't look like they should really exist at all. <laughs> <laughs> They're kind of like a... Like a, a big garbage bag floating around <laughs> in the ocean. Yeah. <gasps> Is that for real? Yeah, yeah that's Jumping for real. Out of the water? Yeah. Dang. Here you go, sunfish. So we get a lot of ecotourism off the southwest coast of Ireland, and sunfish mm -hmm. are uh, one of the few visitors we get. Oh wow! Cool. Nice. And, uh, you see them Tourists? basking. The, uh, uh, yeah, they're they're uh, one of the one of the most beautiful things to, to go out and see. Yeah, Ooh. I think I first saw one at the Monterey Bay Aquarium, and okay. I was just yeah. like amazed. Like it just didn't seem like it should exist. Yeah, yeah right. We always called it the fish designed by committee. <laughs> like evolution couldn't decide. <laughs> Zoom in, Dave. Is that something there? Have they been successfully that looks like kept an in the uh, aquaria? Yeah. yeah. Monterey yeah. Aquarium has Monterey had has several been. over the years. Yeah. Yeah, that's a brutal star. And they're usually returned to sea uh, when they get too big for yeah. the exhibit. One had to be airlifted out via helicopter because it got so big. Yeah, there. <laughs> There's something about sunfish being moved to Texas. Hmm. I actually don't know enough about it to tell that story, so <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna do some research and get back they to you about that. They would fully dry out. It's hot there. Yeah, yeah, but the the, the housing it? prices are cheaper. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this was already mentioned, but uh, has have people seen what a larval sunfish looks like? No, no. they are no. the cutest thing imaginable, and it's kind of unfathomable. They're one of those. I think they're one of those species Whoa. that um, right. has the m highest exponential growth from larva right. to adult. Wow. Seen it in there. Seen do, it. They, <laughs> do they have big eyes? Yeah. They're, look Look it up. You've got internet, right? Here we go. Oh. They yeah. are very oh. adorable. Yeah. They're basically like a little spiky ball with what? googly eyes. <laughs> <laughs> like the Minesweeper protest. Radio, radio Larian protest. So, so cute. So Sunfish, when they swim, they look like they're not even moving. But yeah. They, yeah they, it's like you try and swim with one, and it doesn't look like yep. it's moving at anything, and it just moves right away from yep. it. Yeah. <laughs> Which makes sense when you think about also that they're feeding on jellies. Like, yeah. to eat the jellies, you can just be a drifter, too. Drifter with slight propulsion um, yeah, capabilities. Yeah. Actually, they can really, they can really move. Um, I've seen one while diving. Um, wow. And I was pretty surprised by how quickly they they were able to 
zoom well, by. I just saw a picture of it jumping out of the water. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I can uh, testify to their strength. Uh, years ago, I, uh, I did a job with a, a gentleman called uh, Professor John Davenport uh, from the University of Long Cork. And uh, he was tagging uh, leatherback turtles. And in the, in the process, uh, we came across uh, quite a few sunfish, and, uh, and they are um, able to maneuver when they want. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Wow>. when they want. <laughs> wow. I'm guessing they will need to be like really far back and swim to get the like the momentum to be able to breach. Mm -hmm. that they must not have many predators where they can be all. In Monterey, we have out. yeah, we have a lot of sea lions that will grab them when they're young and throw them around like frisbees. <laughs> what? Um, what? Yeah. <laughs> But when they're adults, I mean, sometimes sharks, sometimes sea lions again, but yeah, there aren't a lot of predators because they're really oily and bony. So they're not a very, very good meal. So they just, what, play around with them? Yeah, they'll, they'll literally, like, throw the, the young ones, wow. like, when they're about that big, like, frisbee size, they'll throw them across. <laughs> and wow. then in, um, yeah, I don't remember which season, but um, there's, like, a season in Monterey where you just see them, like, on the sea floor when you're diving or, or washed up. But, they like don't have fins on them anymore because they've just been thrown too many times. Wow. Yeah, it's or chewed off. Ultimate frisbee season. Yeah. <laughs> I'm starting to think I made up this whole Texas <laughs> thing. <laughs> like, I don't know where this came from. <laughs> You're trying to look for it. I'm going to find it eventually and I'll let you know what I do. <laughs> So tune in for the next watch, folks. Yeah. <laughs> this is based in something, and I don't know what story. yet. <laughs> I mean, being able to see, sometimes oh. I, I end up having, like, work dreams where I dream about things that we saw in the van. So maybe this is... <laughs> <laughs> no, there was an article. There was an article, and I don't remember exactly what, what happened. In real life. <laughs> there were animals being transported to somewhere weird. I was in my school, but it was not my school. <laughs> <laughs> You're all going to feel like fools when I find this <laughs> article. <laughs> Waiting. We've already gotten our enjoyment out of it, so. <laughs> Standing by. <laughs> okay, ready for a move? Oh. I'm ready. Yeah. Is that a ribbonfish uh, bounce in front yeah. of Atalanta. Ribbonfish? Where? Or just, I saw it too. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I believe the Texas story. <laughs> Happy? Copy. Bridge nav. That's gone. Five zero meters, two nine zero, please. Starting to see something in the Atalanta sonar, huh? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're starting a slow incline here. All right. So unknown article aside, <laughs> I did, I did have an internship at this organization. It's called the New England Coastal Wildlife Association. Yep, that's the full thing. <laughs> um, it's a great organization. It's a nonprofit. Um, and, and it's totally not made up. <laughs> and it's totally real. <laughs> and if you look it up, it, you will see that it's real. <laughs> and if you find the article, let me know. <laughs> um, no, but it's a great organization if you're interested in getting involved in um, conservation research right. and you live in the Massachusetts area. It's a great way to get involved. Um, you can donate, you can buy merch. Um, yeah, they, they do a lot of different things. They do, um, like sunfish stranding surveys and necropsies and they study terrapin turtles and, wow. um, that was the last thing. Yeah. Relocating sunfish to Texas. <laughs> um, something along those lines. <laughs> oh gosh. 
I, I kind of hope no one at NECWA is listening right now, because <laughs> I feel like they wouldn't be very happy with me for misrepresenting their No, man, they, they, they gave them a plug. Yeah. It's the middle of the night, though, so. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> You're probably safe. Yeah. Probably safe. Uh, bottom line is, great organization, uh, great way to get involved. Yeah, sunfish. <laughs> Well, that person representing Duxbury Beach, that's pretty late for them, for wherever they were Yeah. coming in from. I haven't, Ship move I haven't made up anything weird about Duxbury Beach. Did, didn't it come in on the chat? Oh, did it? Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah no, it did, it did, it did. About Duxbury Beach. Yeah, who's, uh, who's up at Duxbury Beach right now? Yeah. People do uh, fish there late. Duxbury Beach. But I doubt they'd be <laughs> streaming this at the same time. Hmm. Are we able to know beforehand with the sonars about the substrate before we get down here? Yeah, you can, if you look in the sonar display up there, you can see the, a bit of rockiness. Mm -hmm. the awesome. Right returns. But you mean before we dive? Or, or just like out ahead of us? Actually before we dive, yes. Yeah, uh, you can, uh, yeah, so the sonar does, we do measure the intensity of the backscatter, not just the travel time, which gives you the depth. And the intensity of the backscatter depends on the hardness of I the seafloor. So I found it. It will be a little bit darker. <laughs> I found it, everyone. <laughs> I'm not it's crazy. just in breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> breaking news. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Fox News. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> well. All right. uh, trusted source. <laughs> 40, Forty sea turtles transported to Florida for treatment as number of cold stun turtles surges. Where are the... Uh, yeah, that's not a sunfish. That's not a sunfish. Uh, Can we zoom in? Did I say sunfish? I, meant, I said... I think I said turtle. <laughs> no. You did say sunfish. That's I don't know. Uh, it is Fox News, same, so... Uh, same anemone. Is, uh, is that an anemone? Anemone. Anemone. Oh, anemone. Was it the same one, similar to the one we saw before? Yeah, right? it looks like the same one. Oh, are we looking at another anemone? Right there. I thought you were just saying that word. Nope. I okay. Got another anemone. I should be paying better attention. But yeah, it looks like like the one we saw earlier. Um, I feel like anemone, deep sea anemone identification isn't um very exact. Is that the right way to put it? I don't know. It's hard. It's challenging. <laughs> there are gaps in the field. Oh. Because nobody stops to look at them. You just <laughs> go right by. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we Maybe got I'll it. go home and I'll look at some urchins. Just kidding. I won't do that. There's something to be said <laughs> for specializing in in a very, I mean, you could be the world's expert on deep sea anemones, anemones. But you should be able to say it first. That's the, <laughs> the first step. No, I'm, I'm a worm girl now. Worm lab. So after all that, it was the turtles that were relocating. Huh? <laughs> it was cold stun turtles. Yeah, yeah, I know they relocate those. Well, you could have spoken up about that. No, because you said <laughs> you said sunfish. Yeah, well, <laughs> clearly, <laughs> there's. It was just a pronunciation thing. <laughs> yeah, it, it was sun just a turtles. turtles. I think you misunderstood. <laughs> Another anemone. Another one? Yeah. Another anemone? 
I know that rocks are your specialty, so <laughs> it's okay. No zoom. Zoomless. We don't just drive by. Drive oh, by another. the <laughs> <laughs> We got a reputation to uphold here. <laughs> another. It's getting rocky here. We might take some core samples. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ground is looking now pretty impenetrable. It's, it's like a good place. Good time to <laughs> get a core sample. Yeah. <laughs> rocks. Yeah, yeah rocks. rocks. Hey. So happy to see them. Because it means. It means corals. Life. Mm -hmm. Life. It means life. Rocks are life. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? I don't like that. Can we get Hark back here? You don't want me out front? Well, you're 50 meters away. I can't be 50 meters away. I don't have 50 meters line. <laughs> no, no, not from Argus. <laughs> not from Argus. From the ship. Oh. Bo both of you. You're out. Oh. You're going for a oh, walk too I far from home. I can't help you with that. Okay, so I got to do that then. <laughs> I definitely can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Are we missing the target? Is no. Maybe the don't ship's like the struggling to get over there. <clears throat> yeah. That's me there. Is it on the inside one? It's on a huh? board or outboard? You are uh, left. Left. Okay. Yeah, you're the. You pick up the rocks before I do. Okay, we're going to attempt a little. Side swipe. More northern. Well, we can't go that much. 300 is pretty much the limit that the ship's going to have. So let's see what happens. Bridge nav. Five zero meter is three zero zero, please. You don't like going that way, huh? Right into the into the the weather. There we go. What's that coming up in front of you? Floater. Robert. Oh, floater. It's a Is that a Hollow third? Hollow third? Oh. He's Could be. That would be my guess. And another urchin. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, nice. What is this? What? It's a Hollow third. It's a Hollow third. <laughs> Just different color. It's the same thing as that other one. Is it a Spanish dancer? Is that what it is? That's a common no, name for a yeah. break. Yeah, I think uh, this is the more of the sea pig variety. Uh, Less elegant. It's pretty elegant. It does look like a yeah, pretty enjoyable way to move around. It's like in a snowstorm now. <laughs> Someone in the chat corrected our ID. Um, yeah. They're actually Brisingid sea stars. Uh. So interesting. Can you help me out, Jules here? Yes, <laughs> with the ID from the from the message. One of them we collected. Are we after a rock? No rock. Uh, not necessarily. Do, unless we have. Oh, what's we, this? Are we going to be hanging out Fish? here for a few minutes? Mm. Ship move started. Okay. Right, let's, let's, no, no. Let's keep. Let's keep moving. Shrimp. <laughs> oh, 
I'm excited to see what this slope looks like. We're starting Thank you, Yules. Thank you to our noise. Any expectations of what we might find? Uh, I, I, I think it would be a lot like the slope we were on earlier. Mm -hmm. So a bunch of corals and crinoids and rock, rocks. Yeah, corals, sponges, crinoids. Yeah, there's more interesting sponges on this dive than the last one. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. I love glass sponges. I think there's actually someone who who wanted some sponge samples. Oh, well, let's get a sponge next time we see it. I'd like to get a sponge. <laughs> yeah, actually, it's on the checklist. Chunks of dominant sponges. One sponge, please. Yeah, we have our, I think, two viewers that um, the sea cucumber, Spanish dancer. That's what I Also said. called the headless <laughs> chicken monster. Oh. Uh, any pianastas? <laughs> what do these people know more than I do? <laughs> headless chicken monster. We have viewers who've been watching a long time. Right. Oh my yeah. god, my my like earpiece was on wrong the whole time. That's why what? it hurt. Yeah, I was on sideways. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's a Holotherian and a shrimp. shrimp. What was that? And two crinoids. Stocked crinoids. They did hand exercises. Unless they were on blue though. We passed oh, and there's a sponge. Oh, oh there's a there's a and somebody uh, over there. Euclectella. Uh, zoom in, Dave. Uh, I'm gonna guess that's another bathypathies. Mm. What's happening here? Alternopathies. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to say alternopathies, alterna, alternata. the black. Mm -hmm. Is yep. that because of the angle of the arms that you say that? Alternopathies? Yeah, so I'm looking at the branching pattern. Um, you can tell it's a black coral based on the black skeleton. Um, and then the, the size and organization of the polyps, mm -hmm. where the, um, the branching so it looks starts. Like it, it broke off there. Oh, and then there's a new. Yeah. That's cool. That's interesting. Huh. All right, I think we got it. If you want to zoom out. Yeah, we're good. Thank you. Most corals can't be identified just by like looking at the color. Um, most often you have to look at the sclerites and the polyps. <laughs> There's actually a debate over whether um, different coral species are actually different species or just different, um, uh, just like morphologically different. 
Because they're genetically too similar? Yeah, like the the similarities are, the differences are like really slim between mm -hmm. some of them, a lot of them. Okay, we're gonna try three one zero for the next nice. move. Three one zero. Bridge nav. Uh, two zero meters. Three one zero, please. <coughs> Does this ever feel like a video game to anyone else? Correct. Thank you. <laughs> Pew. <laughs> Maybe it's just because we're staring at screens for so long. Right. Shout out to Thomas from Ireland. Thomas is 11 years old. Hey, Thomas. And the question is, <laughs> did you discover any new species lately? All the time. <laughs> um, yeah, quite possibly. <laughs> quite Sometimes possibly. it won't. You won't know till you take a much closer look. But uh, down here, where no one's been before, mm -hmm. there's always a great chance of discovering a new species. Right. I'm going to give a special hello Ooh. to Thomas. Uh, can we? <laughs> <laughs> what do you see him? What a, what a coincidence. What a coincidence. In, uh, <laughs> Ireland, who's 11 years old, and there's a Thomas on board. He's from <laughs> Ireland. <laughs> Two sons. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, that's my, uh, I believe that's my, my young fella, Thomas, <laughs> and my, uh, his brother, Miguel. Uh, Aww. So say hello to them, and uh, looking forward to get home to them and uh that's so cool. And in the meantime, we're happy to have TJ here. Sorry? And I said, in the meantime, we're happy to have you here driving the RVs and... Right. Thank you. It's been, it's been great. It's back. been a, a feel at home since, uh, since I've joined. So, great crew to work with. How was it driving Hercules earlier? <laughs> Daunting. Yeah. <laughs> Daunting. <laughs> uh, was that your first time driving? Uh, Herc, yeah. 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 What, did uh, Robert give you any uh, heads up other than just throwing nope. the controls? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you there you go. Here. <laughs> you did great. <laughs> he pilots submarines, so. Yeah. Yep. Uh, what is that? Stock uh, crinoid. Yeah, crinoid. Is that another crinoid? Uh, Whereabouts? Up here? No, it was in the lower left corner. But oh. Crinoids are pretty ancient animals, huh? Is that a oh, there's yeah. a Chrysogorgia. Chrysogorgia, yeah. Beautiful. Can we zoom? Zoom in. Zoom, zoom. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, nice. Uh, and there's a little squat lobster sitting next to it there. Love it, it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey. Um, and one up in there. I would guess. Those would look like different, different uh, species of the squat lobster. Yeah. Right. The yeah. ones that's up in there has got the really long. Oh arms. yeah. Uh, Is that something behind it too? It looks like maybe. Um, Back here. A balula also. Balula, yeah. And maybe even something next to that that second squat lobster to the left. Can we zoom on the squat lobster in the price Yeah, if place? I can get stable here. Okay, can you thank give you. me a little more scoop? Yep, coming down there too. Yep. There 
Maybe I'll try and move up closer here. Okay, Dave. Yeah, actually, let's just go to a, a genus level, just Chrysogorgia. Okay. Sounds good. I love these guys. So pretty. So cool. It's a great shot. Thank you. Ooh, nice Atlanta cam, too. Oh, yeah. Get the other one? Uh, yeah, that'd be great. We can see him. He's, he's being shy. wonder what it's next to. A little coral there? Yeah, it looks like another coral. Um, That's as far full as zoom? I can, that's far as I can get, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oof, that's tough. Right. Oh, there is a bunch of them. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Pretty. Um, I mean, it could be Chrysogorgia. It's really hard to tell right now. Those um, little baby ones? Mm -mm. Maybe. I, don't I know. would maybe tentatively say. No, I wouldn't tentatively they look say more anything. Like I really can't fan, tell. Fan, fan, <laughs> uh, you know, they're hard to <laughs> identify when they're young. I would guess. I feel like they don't look quite as dainty. Mm-hmm. As a Chrysogorgian. Hmm. Okay. Good. That's yep. for someone else to <laughs> figure out. <laughs> Thank you. You want to drive ahead of it? Yep. Okay. I'm just going to pull up again. Go on up. Possible ID from the viewer, Hydra Zoen. Oh, oh. That's nice. I don't think so. Okay. I don't think it's a Hydra Zoen. Can you get a quick zoom here, Dave? Ooh. Ooh. A C pen. C pen. Uh, no. Nope. Oh, that's a new one. Oh, this is coral. I don't know what this is. Kind of looks like a black mm -hmm. coral. Is it an, yeah. Know? Okay. Yeah. Oh, black coral. Oh. Too close. <laughs> 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 Got a little seasick there. <laughs> <laughs> What's a single stock? On black wow, coral. that's really cool. I've never seen this. Uh, maybe bathy pathies of some sort. It's growing out of the stock too. It's wow. Like it broke off. And oh wow. Oh, it's a nurse coral. Oh, or lip pathies. Oh, look at that. I'm just throwing out names at this point. Yeah. Our viewer um saying black coral whip. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're trying to decide um what genus of this, uh, of antipasarian. All right. I gotta get going. Okay. okay. Thank you. That's a cool one. Jules, do we have a positive, uh, possible right. idea at least on the black one? Um, working on it. Schizopathidae. Working on, working on genus. TJ, take a look at uh, the uh, camera up in the corner and give mark. a wave to the lads. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> Just a quick shout out there. Ninety percent. Maybe it is sucking. Oh, oh man. Oh. <laughs> That's 100% there. Ah. There, there, go. there, there we go. There we go. Holy it's cow. Oh, it sucked after all. <laughs> okay. It sure did. It sure <laughs> did. <laughs> Still in the jar there. Is that number three? Number two? Number two. There we go. Oh, it's in the Yay. jar. It's in the all jar. Right. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Zero. Yay. And pa we Paola, that was uh, zero 020. Zero two zero for the sample number. I also created a sample log for everybody at home. <laughs> <laughs> so, TJ, which one's your favorite? Atlanta. <laughs> 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 Oh, 
Okay. I'll let you guys get out before we do another move. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to pull up quick here a bit. That's steep. So what are we tending here? Are you going? What's the question? Which direction? Three zero, three, three one three zero. One zero. But. Sorta. Of. Sorta. Of. There is pretty strong current here. Yeah, the ship hasn't balked yet, but. Well, I mean, then down here. I know. Yeah, it's strong down here and strong up there. Yeah. But it's coming at you head on, right? It's no, it's going that way. That I'm, yeah, I'm going head into on. it. You're going yeah. into the current. So it's opposite for service. Ooh, okay. There's a What's that? Oh, the middle. Top middle. Oh, yeah, let's go look at sponge. Yeah. Did we want it? Uh, Actually, well, there's a sponge there. I might like the sponge. Yeah, let's do it. I'd like to have it. So the ideal sponge should be around 10 centimeters cubic. So are we, we just want a little piece of it, right? Yeah, a little piece of it. So a slurp? Yeah, um, I think Yeah. like a, a snip and <coughs> slurp. Snip, snip and, and slurp. slurp. That's actually the convenience snip store that I'm opening on Cape Cod. Can we get the <laughs> We do vasectomies and have a uh, <laughs> nope. Can we get the vessel to hold for a second there <laughs> while we're doing this? We're already holding. Oh. Can't have one without the other. It's always craving a, craving a slurpy after my vasectomy. Are we capable of snipping and slurping? Oh. You've got coral yeah. cutters, right? Mm. Oh. Because it's the same manip. Right. Do you want me to tour trail? Right. Yeah. Well, so we so we do have things in there. Yeah, yeah but right. I don't think anything's gonna jump out. We got that just the brisk to. Yeah. Well, he's he's not super. You think he's a little floaty? Yeah. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Maybe not. But I, this hose is just in not in a great spot. So, so with the snip and slurp, that's the old way the slurp hose used to be was sticking straight out front. Right? Oh right, so you could just bring it back. You bring to the it hose. back to it and let it go. So now you have to pull it off and do like something lay it with down. it. Yeah. yeah, and it's hard to grab where it is. This yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking, oh, yeah, Ross Halliday. Oh, but geez, anyway, what's his name? I'm just telling you what. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> what's my headache? <laughs> the ch oh, that looks exactly like it. Um, Kala Ross Halliday, Kalo Fakus. And I can write it down if you like. Yeah. yeah. I can look at it from here, from your monitor screen. If you awesome. Oh, you can see it? Okay, yeah. great. Not bad. What's that sticker on there? Uh, the sticker that's coming off? Yeah. Right. Thank you, Jules. I don't know. Oh, is that an impossible sensing sticker? Yeah, that's what it is. <clears throat> okay, DJ, can you roll the box out? Okay, Herc Hydraulics, tool tray coming out. Ah, he's happy there. Okay. Likes the rock. Now a member of Lambda Omega. Partied with those guys once. <laughs> <laughs> they can't hold their salt water. Low lifes. <laughs> deep, deep, deep low lifes. <laughs> okay. Um. Well.
What can we do here? You just slurp it? I don't think it will, I don't think it'll just slurp. How about a tap and slurp? Yeah, we don't know, we don't know the consistency of this. It's gonna be pretty stiff, I think. Um, yeah. What slurp jar are we on? We haven't slurped yet anyway. Right? Nope, we don't have anyone, anything, any slurp. Have not yet slurped. So the thing to do probably is to set it down somewhere up front. Then. So why don't we roll the box back in? Actually, yeah, uh, maybe a magnet so that you could well, I have, it down. I have the steel oh, plate. Yeah, so yeah, that's a good idea. So why don't we roll the box in? Box coming in. Gonna stay there? No, it's not. It's gonna take off and do its thing. Like <clears throat> my camera. What about the camera? My camera just got a life of its own, just took off the target, just turned it off, reset it. <sighs> what to do here? If you let it dangle, does it... Uh, it wants to jump up into the armpit. Yeah. What if you suctioned it to something? No, I don't think that would. What if we try and capture it in the box? Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. So hmm. Bring the toolbox out a little bit and then... Uh, yeah, but I need a different grab here. You want to put the box out of skosh? Can you close it? Nice. Okay. Freeze. Do you want me to start to slurp up now so when you come <laughs> over? Uh, not yet. But you could have it on the page and ready. Yeah, here. Okay, Dave, can we zoom in?
Nice. Very nice. Oh, really nice. Right. Not in the hole yet. <laughs> but, yeah, but, but so that precise. part was good. That was yeah. great. Barely took a snip. So we lined up on the jar. I was trying to get the cam on the what uh, what jar we're on. It's uh, so you got to go hotel cameras and then bucket. Bucket. And you got to turn off the starboard rail cam. Okay, so we're on flush currently. We'll rotate. Sample jar. Sample jar one it is. Okay. All right. Let me know when to start su suction. Yeah, you can do it. Can you zoom in some, Dave? That's sixty percent. Will I give it full beans? All right. Now nah, that's probably enough beans. Half beans. <laughs> okay. Can you see it sucking? Does it seem like it's doing it? No. The, you usually see something flurrying around in the jar. Yeah, there's nothing happening. Are we on the right thing? Yeah, starboard suction. Sucking. Going again. That's eighty percent. Are we sure about the indexing here? It kind of looks like it might be trying to go. It's hard to tell. Ninety percent here, no. Well, should we try it? Uh, I feel like we should be seeing more mm -hmm. happening. I mean, the alternative is Let's we we uh, open up the the toolbox there and just drop it in there. That'll be a floater. Yeah. They rotate sample jars again. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Huh. Okay. And drop down to zero, just hold it there. Try so try a different jar, I don't know. Okay. Try sucking? No. Coming up now. Is it? 